Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power, Save the Planet here on Sensational Saturday in Connecticut. Life's good, man. Life is good. Anyway, just got off the bike, did a quick 20, took me a little over an hour. Uh, another liter of water. I have some delicious, delicious fresh squeeze OJ and... Uh, Apple and grape OJ, which I will take as soon as I'm done with this, to replenish the electrolytes. That's what uh, everybody says. Guys, listen. Listen. When you work out, you are breaking down muscle. And that action of breaking down muscle produces waste material. You can call it lactic acid. You can call it free radicals. It doesn't matter. It produces waste material. Now, the most important thing you have to do when you are through working out is to get rid of that waste material as quickly as you possibly can. Flush it out, man. It will come out in the toilet. Drink your water. Drink your juices for a good couple hours after. And after you're through with your juices and everything, you're going to start feeling hungry. You are. And the thoughts of more juice is not going to be too appealing to you, okay, at that point, because you're that hungry. Um, at which point, you start eating your solid food, okay? Have your smoothie. Have your watermelon and sugar. Then you start replacing. But guys, there is nothing better to flush out those free radicals, okay, than juice, fresh squeezed juice. Now, there is nothing better for replacing the vitamins, minerals, nutrients, phytochemicals, biophotons, and everything that you just worked off. There is nothing better to replacing that than fresh squeezed fruit and vegetable juice. Nothing. And to come in on a basically empty stomach, it, it, it's like getting a, a nutrient IV. You can feel it seeping into your cells, your blood, you can feel it. And I'll tell you what, guys, that feeling is exhilarating. Absolutely exhilarating, okay? I strongly suggest the juice cleanse, I've said it many times, is not for everybody. And quite frankly, I'm not even sure if it's for me because I'm so active. But juice will be part of my life and part of my protocol till the day I die. Uh, my wife juices, my daughter juices, not as much as I, but they absolutely juice, and guys, you should too. You should too. It is turbocharging every single, every single system of your body, the, the emphatic, lymphatic system, your immune system, I, I mean, your endocrine system, on and on and on. It's the best thing you can do to not only flush, but replenish. Okay, now you saw the thumbnail. Athlete lean. Guys, uh, you can get super lean without doing a lot of exercise. You can. You can get super lean without doing any exercise. You can. I don't suggest it. I don't suggest it. I think working out is so important. Personally, I feel great. I love to work out. I love to work out. I just did an hour. Uh, I'll do some kettlebells and some PNF, and I will. Uh, I might do another hour on a bike later this afternoon, depending on how I feel. That will get me up to about 40 miles, guys. I love it. I love working out. Not everybody does, but I tell you guys, once you start digging in with this diet, your energy is going to go through the roof, and you are not going to mind working out. I'm telling you. You may not love it. You may not crave it like I do. But I'm telling you what, guys, you are not going to mind working out because you have so much energy. Now, it doesn't have to be a lot. My wife does a half an hour on the bike every day. I'll take that back. Maybe five, five days a week. Okay? She's not torturing herself, and she looks great. She looks absolutely great. Uh, my daughter is a, was a hardcore athlete. She was a nationally ranked um, synchronized swimmer, 12th in the country. She was a MVP and uh, captain of her high school 
uh, track teams, cross country, indoor and outdoor, three straight years. So she's a good athlete. Now she has not, she's, now that she's in law school and everything, she just doesn't have time to run like that anymore, but she does do the juice as best she can. When she's home, I, I make the juice for her. At school, she takes you know, the commercial juices, which I don't love. She puts some sugar in them and all that sort of stuff. She is making smoothies. She loves banana strawberry smoothies. She has them with her all day with, with uh, uh, sugar in it. But guys, it keeps you lean. Fruits, veggies, carbs, rice, uh, corn rice, peas, potatoes, plus sugar. Sleep on and sugar, guys. With a little bit of exercise, it keeps you lean for life. Now, my favorite athlete, my favorite athlete, not one of my, one of my favorite athletes, was Allen Iverson. Now, he was not on this diet. He uh, had a drinking problem, you know, the whole nine yards. It's not like he was, you know, doing true power. But look at that physique. Look at that physique. Now, the point is, guys, he never lifted a weight in his life. But why does he look like a bodybuilder? Because he's so lean, he's got like five, at his height, he's got like 5% body fat. He doesn't anymore, he's gained about 50 pounds. But at that time, the point is, guys, all of us have those muscles. All of us have an eight pack, we all do. We just can't see it because it's under fat. If you get yourself lean, athlete lean, and you can get athlete lean on this protocol. Guys, trust me, you are not gonna have to work out like crazy to look lean. Now, he has developed muscles for his years and years of playing um, sports at an absolute, the highest level in the world. So he didn't have to lift weights. He didn't have to get on a bike. He didn't have to do seat crunches. He was doing, you know, sprints every single day of his life. Okay? And he didn't do the roids. He just remained lean. Now, if you look at him now, you wouldn't see one muscle in his body. They're all there. You just can't see it. LeBron James, on the other hand, uh, I think he's a good 30 pounds too much. He is obviously on steroids, but you look at the difference between him and Iverson. He is very, very bloated because of the steroids. Iverson is not. Iverson is not. Now, you look at... Uh, LeBron's face, it's all puffy. It doesn't have that lean, lean, single-digit body fat face. It just doesn't. Steroids puff you up. They absolutely puff you up. Now, does he look impressive? Does he look like the Michelin man? You bet. But he's not as lean. That is not the body the regular person is after. Okay? Now, you don't have to aspire to that body if you don't want it. You don't have to. But guys, you stick with this protocol, you add a little bit of, of exercise to it. Guys, health and fitness. Health is what I'm after more than anything. I told you, save the planet. Part of saving the planet is just completely wiping out the healthcare system. Guys, I haven't been, my, or my wife or my daughter, my daughter's 23 years old. We haven't been to the doctor for 20 some odd years. We're not vaccinated, we haven't got this disease or that disease or that virus, we haven't gotten it. We're healthy as can be. And if I'm not as buff as I was when I was, you know, 35, who cares? Not me. So again, you don't have to be that, but guys, if you keep the body fat below 10 grams a day, over time, you are gonna lean out. Now, I don't know your metabolism. I don't know how much you work. I don't work out. I don't know how much, you know, how heavy you are when you started this. So you are going to see results instantly. If you're on the standard American diet and you go on the true power protocol today, you will feel better tomorrow. You're gonna to feel the results immediately and you're gonna get addicted to it and you're gonna start working out more, you're gonna love it. But the point is to get runway model lean, that might take months. You might have to think this time next year, depending on where you're coming from. Or, if you're not too far, you know, a month from now, you can have what you want. All right? All right. Athlete lean. Think Iverson. Don't think LeBron. 
Okay, guys, eat and drink your fruits and vegetables, your corn, rice, peas, potatoes, and live your life with true power. And the world is yours, Chico, and everything in it. Love you all. Thank you.